Hello everyone, after running the analysis in the previous video, we will check the eccentricity, center of mass and center of rigidity in this video. You have to check that EX over DX and EY over DY is less than 15%. To do that, you can just measure DX and the DXF file in AutoCAD or just have your mouse to this corner to this corner and copy the coordinates you can copy these this coordinates too and calculate DX and DY I will use a simple way to calculate DX and DY just go to define load load patterns wind and click on modify wind and click on modify show you have to assign diaphragms first then you will get dy from this column and dx from this column copy them go to excel d y d x what about e x and e y e x is the center of the distance between the center of mass and center of rigidity in the x direction or parallel to the x axis and ey is the distance between center of mass and center of rigidity in y the direction center of mass is mainly related to the architect plan so we can't uh, it's hard to modify its place we have to modify uh, the center of rigidity the place of the center of rigidity to reach the minimum EX and EY center of rigidity is related to the di directions of the columns shear walls dimensions and the distribution of the shear walls so try not to focus on one corner uh, try to focus on all the building and balance it to reach the minimum EX and EY and the center of rigidity is related to many other uh, elements for example the ribs uh, direction of ribs the height its height and width uh, beams and many other elements if we draw a line that is that passes the center of mass in the y direction we can notice that the building is symmetric due to this line we can notice that we have the same uh, shear walls and columns in both directions so we we can expect that ex will be uh, about zero or maybe a very small uh, value but in the y direction we don't have the same symmetric so maybe EY will be large this depends on the distribution of the shear walls and columns as we said so just go to tables analysis results structure results and go to center of mass and rigidity check that we you have all stories now you can copy the center of mass and center of rigidity from this table go to the excel sheet and paste it ex in meters equal this center of mass value uh, minus center of rigidity as we said ex is very small you can get the percentage of ex over dx ex over dx 
and we we can multiply it by 100 to get the percentage we can notice that all values are very small because of the symmetric in x direction and all values are smaller than 15 percent and that's okay for the x direction we will make the same steps for the y direction we can notice that we have larger values in this direction but all value values are smaller than 15 percent and that's okay for the y direction too and that's it for this video